Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for joining me on The Angry Truth Channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about a device developed by the Defense Department. It's a subdermal transmitter, if you will, that enables this transmitter to, de to detect COVID developing in your body or having COVID. So the idea of this device, if you will, is... If you come in contact with someone with COVID and you start developing uh, chemical reactions within the body, this device is going to let you know, hey, there's COVID developing in your body. You go and get tested and then you, uh, you, you go from there, whether you're negative or you're positive. Now, it's going off the chemistry reaction in the human body developing COVID. So this is supposed to uh, alert you before you are symptomatic right before you start spreading it this device if you will is being developed by DARPA which stands for Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and this agency if you will started this project which is actually headed by Dr. Matt Hepburn so this device if you will this transmitter uh, it is supposed to minimize the spread of COVID, right? So obviously, if this thing lets you know, oh shit, dude, you got COVID, go get tested, and you get tested, and you you, you pop positive, well, then you got to quarantine in the whole nine yards. Now, I find this very interesting on one aspect because that's pretty much, that's good technology if you would use it to something else, like, I don't know, cancer, right? You start developing cancer, your body chemistry changes, this thing, you know, lets you know, oh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think cancer is developing in your body. Go get tested. This can stop a lot of cancer cases, but instead, they're using this for COVID. COVID 19, which has a 99.97 or 98 survival rate. Instead of using this for something else that's killing us in droves, which is cancer and heart disease, they're using this for COVID. This technology can absolutely be developed for cancers and heart disease and other diseases out there as well but they this is technology we should have had five years ago for cancer and uh heart disease because cancer and heart disease are still killing more people than COVID is so my only issue with this is they already started out with the it's not tracking you it's not going to track you every whereabouts but with technology this advanced and something this small that goes into your body or rather subdermal skin uh guys if it that advanced they can absolutely add tracking software to this later on because right now they said you're not being tracked that's right now who the fuck knows what it's going to look like in um two three years from now now right now it's in the, it, it's in its late testing stages so late testing stages means it's probably going to head in its final probably by the end of the year or next year and uh right now it's being tested in the military if i'm not mistaken in the navy uh, and probably in the Defense Department. Now, they didn't say people are going to get mandated to, to to get this or people in the Defense Department are going to be mandated to take this. Right now, this is probably uh, to each his own kind of deal. Now, I can't see people in the military uh, turning this down, but I can't see people in the military leaving because now you're putting a essentially a device that's tracking whether or not you're developing COVID. And it's supposed to be uh, just for your, your knowledge. So you will have the device on your phone and you'll be like, oh shit, uh, I'm developing COVID, let me go get tested. And then you, yourself, you do a self-administered test, right? You take this little pod, you put it on your arm, it draws the blood out, you stick it in the machine, and the machine will tell you whether you're negative or, or positive. I think that's pretty cool. And one aspect is pretty cool, but in the other aspect, I'm like, the tracking technology that's not in it now that can be in it later is my bigger concern because i mean listen if you are that concerned about a virus that's you know has a 99 percent survival rate listen that's the way to go but we should be using that technology towards other shit not towards uh covid so guys this is pretty much just a heads up on a technology that's out there now there's also another new uh, piece of tech that they released which is a filter the filter is about like this long and probably about that round and it goes onto a dialysis machine what this filter is supposed to do is draw the COVID out of your blood 
or out of your body rather right so if anybody knows how dialysis works or if you ever given blood at the blood bank and they take your plasma you know how they, they put you on this machine that separates the plasma from the blood and it puts the blood back into the body or if you are a dialysis patient and it's taking all the toxins out of your blood and putting it back in your body this runs the same way except for it pulls the COVID out pulls the COVID out of the, the, the blood and then it puts the blood back in the body and they tested this on a patient called patient zero or dubbed patient zero so uh patient 16 sorry not zero excuse me so patient 16 which has been tested by using this filter system and the person fully recovered and they said the person was circling the drain meaning they were dying and when they when they placed this filter in place the person recovered damn near right away now i have a, a, a couple of bones to pick with it because i'm not a doctor but they said this patient was suffering from uh, organ failure usually organ failure is hard to come back from right and to be fully recovered so it, it, it's a bit of a stretch you are going to have some underlying issues uh when you start having multiple organ failures right so to say that they fully recovered i think was a bit of a stretch but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the video from 60 Minutes that talks about this in the description section below so that you guys can take a look at the video yourself. Again, guys, I'm going off of what I, 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 I research and I see, and I always put the proof and back it up in the description section below so that there's no arguments about it. Uh, again, I got this from 60 Minutes. I actually saw this first. Someone sent it to me first via text. Uh, what is it? The Daily Mail, the UK Daily Mail. And I looked at that and I go, that's interesting. And then no shit, probably uh, half hour later, I get a notice from the New York Post on my phone. And then somebody also uh, emails me, sorry, IMs me or DMs me, sorry, on Instagram. And it was the same article, not the same article, different article, two different media sources. So I clicked the 60 minute link and I'm like, holy shit. So this is real. This is not one of those conspiracy theories. Now, again, the tracking technology is not there yet, but it oh it will always allow itself to do upgrades like that so any technology that's that advanced they always leave room for improvement and they always leave room for upgrades right so you got to keep that in mind again the technology sounds great i wish they would use it for something more serious but the filtering system is awesome right that's i think that's an awesome thing for people again who have uh worse conditions if you suffer from COVID that bad then fine that's a great uh that's a great tool but they should also use that for other ailments as well not just you know covid so guys this was pretty much a quick uh video on this new technology i saw it i was like holy shit let me uh let, let's talk about it and see what we uh what we think or what you guys think so let me know your opinion in the description section below i'm always curious about that and uh Thank you for watching. This is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on The Angry Prepper channel. Like and subscribe to that. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching.